but really well. I mean, if you ever get to have a meal at Shea Paul, you will not be let down. Michelin stars, I mean, like honestly. And going back to things that people don't know about me, that yeah. uh, I keep all of my meat in Chris's house. <laughs> Gets a little smelly down there. That's code for something. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Don't start I keep all of my meat in Chris's house. <laughs> I, I remember Chris telling me that, that Paul had come to his house to get some meat. And um, he accidentally left some oh, meat yes, out. That's a fine story. Yes. And then so he came I home. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I have a deep freeze in my basement that I don't use. So Paul, who's, you know, he's, he's big into the locally raised meats and stuff like that. So he gets a, he gets a cow and a pig slaughtered and yada yada. And he needs a place to store it. That's my freezer. But uh, sometimes, you know, Paul's, he's ripping through and he, he, you know, he's trying to find just the right piece of meat. And one time he happened to forget a piece on the uh, shelf above my freezer. It was a kidney, actually. It was a kidney, perhaps. So yeah, I don't go into my basement often. I, you know, on a Monday I came home from work and I was like, that's an interesting smell in my house. <laughs> I must have left the garbage in, in this, under the sink, whatever. I didn't really think much of it. Tuesday, I got back from shooting again. Again, 10 o'clock at night, really tired. How smells even funny? I'm starting to sniff around now, but the wolf skill, the wolf sense is really hasn't kicked in. I'm tired. I'm smelling my shoes. I'm wondering if I stepped in poo. Why in my kitchen? Where did that come from? I don't know. Go to sleep. Wednesday night, I come home. There is a definite dead body smell. I'm wondering what the hell is going on. And I open the door to my kitchen, and there's a swarm of flies. And I'm like, oh, oh, what is this? And so I finally open the door to my basement, and out comes a black cloud of flies. And it was like literally a scene from a horror movie where I had to fight my way down, past the clouds, fuming clouds, flies, and maggots, and yeah. It was, it was, it was awesome. So thanks, Paul, for those amazing experiences. <laughs> Almost made me become a vegan right there. And, then. and what about other people? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a question? Like you're doing in your spare time. time. In my spare time, right? Yeah, what are you doing in your spare time? Um, I don't know, lots of stuff, as much as I can. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so I'm either like riding on my motorbike or um, snowboarding or taking care of myself as a seven year old boy, which is an adrenaline ride all on its own. Um, yeah, I don't know, as much as I can, honestly. And I try to read a book or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's different. Um, when I get a chunk of time off, I like to travel. That's sort of my thing. Uh, I have 99 countries I want to see. And I'm like 37. Um, and then otherwise, I, when we're off from work, I just really love going. I always like I find a coffee shop that's sort of like my place. And I love going to the coffee shop and reading or people watching. It's not terribly exciting, but I love it. Mm -hmm. Are you doodling? We're coming into fall. This I is just, my answer. Listen. I, I, I made a picture. On my, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my dude. Um, I, we're coming into fall in Toronto anyway, and um, and I love nothing more than like getting a, having a big sweater on and having a coffee and walking through the woods with dogs. Like just anyone's dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. So I find a dog and I walk it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's what I do when I'm not uh, acting or talking all yelling. She ignores the screaming cries of the children looking for the dog. <laughs> as, I, as I pry their dog dogs. from them. <laughs> you want dogs and elderly people. <laughs> yeah, just, just random beings I take for walks. Anyway, I charge, and if any of you want to go on a walk with me. And I, I don't know, I, I mother, I read, I try to cook. My husband's way better. What's that? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I didn't know it would be met with such protest. <laughs> um, I, I try to cook. My husband's a better cook. Everything I cook tastes the same. I, I don't know why. It just tastes the same. Really? It's pretty good. Yeah. Everything he cooks tastes the same? No, everything I cook tastes Your muffins are really good, though. Yeah. Wow. I make good muffins. Wow. <laughs>
feels a little bit like Paul's meat in Chris's house. <laughs> Rachel has eaten my muffins. I have been trying to eat muffins since season one. I can't even remember. I know. Everyone's had a bit of Anna's muffins, let's be honest. <laughs>